What's going on everybody? I'm out here today. I meant to have this done the last day I worked here, but we brought the tractor over here, had a crack in the fuel filter, put the new fuel filter on, and I had a lot of trouble getting the injection pump to bleed out the injectors. But I've got the five loads of dirt dropped off over here at the property. And what we have are, and this is not a very good example, are the holes where the wood posts were from the landscape company. So there's one, there's one. Uh, the guys that tore them out did a, a decent job of filling some of them and some of them, well, I mean, that's almost full. Some of them are four foot deep holes. Now that one's only like a foot and a half. So what I wanna do is just use the tractor to move the dirt and just quickly fill these holes. And then tomorrow I can start setting up, actually maybe even this afternoon, start putting my rebar in the ground and popping string to square out the rough area that we want to and then measure our diagonals. So if you, you draw a square on a piece of paper, if you draw a line from one corner to the opposite corner and the other one to the other opposite corner, you could measure them out and know of whether or not your square is actually square or not. If one's longer, one's shorter, once you get them all to the same length, both diagonals, then your, your area is square. And then I will start putting my posts in the ground at the front corner, working my way back against the string. And then I'll keep this whole area square. So again, it's just rough carpentry. You, you would have surveys and stakes and all this stuff if you were building a foundation for a house, but this just needs to be good enough. It's reptile cages. Um, and it's the same way I did the, the cages at the other property. So my mom is gonna come out here and as I dump the dirt, she'll just rake it smooth. And then once she has like a little hill over these indentations, I can run it over with the tractor and knock it down. And the reason why it doesn't matter if this land is totally flat is once I build my cages, I'll probably put, you know, 10 inches of dirt inside each enclosure. As long as they're all level, this land will be good enough. And then I can have a guy with the bobcat come and grade the land on the outside, the perimeter of the enclosures, and then this will all look nice. But there's no sense in grading this because we're gonna pour concrete on it and put dirt over it. So that would be just wasted money. So we're just gonna fill the holes and uh, remove any of the garbage debris. There's a lot of uh, stuff like this in the way, little uh, drip lines. We'll remove all that debris from the area and then uh, and we'll get this done. I'll probably put you guys on time lapse so we can make this go faster. A quick break to ask you to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Now back to the video. All right, so we got most of all the dirt in the holes. I mean, this is as good as I need it. It does not, none of this has to be flat. The holes are compacted. Um, I got a couple more to rake, semi-smooth, and then I'm gonna run over everything with the tractor after lunch. And then I'm gonna start uh, using the string to square up where the cages are gonna be back here. And keep in mind, um, I still want to have chicken coops, a pin for turkeys, um, maybe even breeding quail for to have my own food source here. Um, I'd like to be more independent for all this stuff. Um, so yeah, lots, lots of work. I'm going to stop for lunch and then finish everything up. All right, it's the next day. And uh, we have a bunch of uh, four by four posts I picked up at Home Depot, a bunch of scrap lumber that I'm gonna use for bracing. Um, I don't waste a lot. I try to use as much as I can over. And uh, we cut, we filled all those holes. You know, this is uh, where one of the post holes was over there. I mean, it's all smooth enough. 
Um, and then we squared up our area. And I'm gonna show you on a piece of notebook paper when I get home, how I squared this up. But I know that this is a near perfect 90 degree angle right here to start shooting back my wall. That is, whew, I mean, well, I'm allowing for 62 plus feet. I think that's like 67. Um, and then the width of four 12 foot cages and two four foot hallways. And um, we got it pretty stinking square. We're gonna go ahead and get our first post in the ground. It's gonna be right here. We're gonna get it level. We'll put some bracing on it. And then we're gonna work our way down this line. And then we're gonna work our way across here. Now this first 12 foot is gonna be that interactive play area that will also link the two hallways. So if I wanna walk a male out this hallway into that hallway for an introduction to a female for whatever reason, then I'm able to do that without even putting hands on a, a semi-tame animal. I can just walk him with food um, and give him no stress. So we're gonna get the first post in the ground. Pretty exciting. And I think, uh, what did we say? Uh, 48, 49 posts, not including the play area. Yeah. So uh, that'll be, yeah, maybe almost 50 posts. Ugh. Well, I bought every one Home Depot had, so we only have like 24 today, so. <laughs> All right, first post is in there level. Just touching the string there. Just touching the string there. And it's level, so we're good. Now this is how simple, when I say simple carpentry, this is an uncut 12 foot four by four post. It's probably 12 and three quarters. Every one I'm gonna purchase from Home Depot is probably between 12 and a half and 12 and three quarters. It's okay. If I get six posts in and check for level when I'm starting to put these on, I'll adjust or trim. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So all I have to do is right at the edge of this string, right here is where this next 10 foot four by four is gonna go. So I mark it, I hold it right there mark it move that out of the way and i dig my hole i put it right back and i set that four by four post level both ways touching that and then i remove that once i've got it all like hosed in i don't need this until i'm hanging it so once i set all my posts and i know they're level i'm going to start adding some scrap pieces of wood that just tie them together four or five foot high just rough stuff that I'm gonna reuse later in the project. And you'll see how it just holds everything level until I'm ready to, what's the best way to describe it? This land isn't exactly level, but I want the top of this whole enclosure to be visually level. So I'm gonna use string to what's level from one corner to the next, shoot it all the way across, and then I will adjust slightly and then I'll trim all the tops of those posts and then I'll hang these 12 foot four by fours, even with the top, even with the top. And I'll start doing that all the way around and tying this all together and making it solid. Right now, we're just gonna clip along and get as many posts in the ground as we can. It's hotter than Hades today. So we're gonna get what we can done before we need a break. Um, and I'll update you as we have a couple more in the ground. All right, so now I have all this done, this whole row. So this, this would be the play area, the 12 feet, first female enclosure, 10 foot wide male enclosure. This is gonna be split in half after the wall is poured, but this will be a female, a female, a male, 
a female and then these last two five foot enclosures will be a smaller pair of animals could be the argus or maybe something i'm raising up something along those lines but so i've gotten all those done uh squaring them up just the way i showed but now i'm going to show you how it all starts getting easier on the inside because we know those posts are level and square so off of that post here's a 12 footer and just butted up against it there's a 12 footer butted right up against there that's exactly where that post has to be and i all i have to do is just keep building from that corner as long as i start level and i can check it periodically but as long as the bottoms are are good the tops are going to be good you know i've got that little uh post level thing that does uh both angles where is it there you go that's on the post as i strapped on the post i still use that on every one and as i fill them in so they're definitely level but the bottoms are where they need to be and now i can do this whole row so we'll you'll be back when that's all done all right day one is coming to a close we finished almost one row of cages as far as the upright posts now this stuff will need to be tweaked as far as level this way it was set in the ground level and i watered in the posts and i had just one more to finish but i don't know if you could see but there is a nasty storm rolling in trees are blowing around and there's a couple lightning strikes so just one more post to finish this and then i would do all my hallway pieces cut that's going to make a four foot wide hallway this time and then the next row of cages and then once i have that much done then i can pop a string from my corners measure what i think is going to be fair eight foot ground level go to all the corners and then start popping string with line levels and average it all out as long as i have an eight foot ceiling inside there i'm happy but uh once i average it all out and get it all level um then i'll build the next two rows off of whatever that decides and i, and I feel like this land is 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 fairly level so um it should be good well i'm taking the day off tomorrow tomorrow's my birthday and i'm not going to say i'm resting because i'm doing waters and feeding animals at my house and putting babies on morph market and just trying to get some stuff done but i'll be out here the day after tomorrow and try and finish a whole nother row and level it all out and chop the tops of all these posts which would be amazing all right so i'd like to say it was the next day but it's actually the day after the next day because the next day was my birthday and i took the day off well the day off from working out here i still worked with the other animals and the babies and everything so we're back out here my goal is to put 20 more posts in the ground because we got chased off in the storm i was one post short of finishing this row and uh you see how i've got everything tied into level they can still move a little bit this way once i start fine level i'll tie all that in and i'll stay level but these guys are tied in these are the spacers for my hallway going to a four foot wide hallway i have some of the spacers cut these will go up top later and now i put in the posts that will represent the other side of the doorway for the play area and that's giving us an eight foot opening so i'll do double doors with an active and a passive door and that way we can open both doors to get something big in here right so then i need to get to my first hallway post well what am i getting my measurement off of and uh it's quite simple the 
93 and a half inch header board, this four by four right here that I'm stepping on. I leave on the ground, it's touching this post, it's touching that post. This guy's level, that guy's level. Just leave it there. And now I run my 12 footer right off of that. I have my four foot hallway one sitting there just as a guide. I know it's square and sitting where it needs to be. So I just run it over here. There's another hallway post right there. That 12 footer. So now I just take my post hole digger, take a little mark out of the ground right there, set it there, kick both of these posts out of the ground or out of the way and dig my hole. And then I'll do the same with my spacers and I'll work my way down this hallway. And then I'm gonna do my next front post 12 feet away from that one. And I'll be able to do that. Just boop, just keep working all the cages. Easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna get to it. All right, this is the end of day two. All right, I'm sorry, it's day three. I'm already losing track. Three days in, I'm losing track. So this is gonna be the eight foot entrance into the play area. Don't know exactly how that's gonna be laid out, but it goes to the length of that last post over there. If we walked in, let's see if my legs are long enough. Oop, yep, perfectly long enough. This will be the four foot wide hallway, 50 foot run, same as it is at the other house. I know it looks smaller when the cages are not there. Um, all the upright posts are there. I have all little supports to keep everything level. These four by four posts will quickly start to warp if I don't tie them up top. So in one more day, I wanna finish this row of posts, this hallway row of posts, and then from this corner all the way back. So that's what I wanna get done in one more day. I'm gonna quickly count how many posts I need so I bring them tomorrow and I wanna be able to pop a string and cut off the posts level up top and tie them in up top, especially the corners and everything and get this all leveled out because then I can start disassembling some of the cages that are empty at the house and using that material to be some of the, the 12 foot four by four running back. Like I can start stealing some of that lumber to use over here but it's not be quick to get to the lumber because I still have to peel all the screen off and everything to get to it. So I'm gonna measure for, or count how many more posts I need. Can you hear I'm tired? Count how many more posts I need and uh, wrap it up for today. All right, I believe it's day four working on the enclosures. My mom and Pete are out here working with me. Um, if you wondered where I learned how to work so hard, my mom, she would be mad at me if I was out here working without her. Um, so all the posts, except for doorway posts, are in the ground. So this is gonna be the eight foot entry, hallway one, we'll walk over. Hallway two, four foot wide this time. So that's an extra row. So we got two rows of two. So four 50 foot rows of cages. Um, what did I say that comes out to? 43 cages. Pretty exciting. Now it can't be 43 cages. Maybe it's 34. I don't know. It's a lot. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure up eight foot on this corner, I think. And then I'm gonna use a line level and mark what it is here, to tie a tight string and leave it there. Then the next most visual side, I'll come down to this side, come off of the same screw I put here for the level there, shoot a level there. Put string and a screw, do the back side, do that other side, and then, even though the, it's a string level is kind of accurate, but this only needs to be kind of accurate. I think on my other cage, 
by the time I got to the back corner, I was probably like an inch off. And all you do is just adjust it a little bit and, and it's fine for what this is. Um, if this was a house, you'd be running a laser and, and, and doing it precise, but it, it, this doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna get that done. I'll show you guys once it's all leveled out. We may do some of the corner bracing today, but I know we have a, another short day. So I'll get that done. I'll show you it leveled out. And then I think the next day I gotta bring the cordless skill saw, start trimming the tops of these, start bracing all the corners, and then uh, forming boards for the walls. Starting to get some concrete going. All right, it worked out way better than the other enclosure did. So I have my uh, hot pink string measured to, uh, to eight feet up. We leveled the front side, we leveled that side, the back side, and then this side. And now I'm going around with the square and marking with the permanent marker if you can see right there where to trim the boards at but this is amazing because that's what level came off of going around that way and that's what level came off going around the other way so <laughs> perfect um so now i gotta trim all the tops and then once i get to the hallways then i'll use the square go around the corner pop a string down the hallways and then they can be trimmed so uh if i get everything marked out today then i'll bring the uh, cordless skill saw um and trim all the tops off and uh yeah <laughs> all right it's the next day and uh i lied uh yesterday was actually day three today is day four so day three we finished putting all the pilings in the ground. Today we showed up with more lumber and started trimming them all level to the lines that I popped end to end to end to end down the hallways. So, I mean, you can see some of them are leaning. I don't have them braced that way. I have them braced this way. That's fine because the 12 foot piece of lumber is gonna tie all that together. So what I'm doing now is starting in a corner with a level, getting the corner perfectly level, and then setting the boards that we're holding our spaces down along the ground up there. And I'm gonna show you how I do that by myself. And then after I get the board up, I add my corner little gussets there that I use all my scrap lumber for. So I did this section and now we'll walk to the back where I'm working. I'm doing all the corners first. And then I'll do all the, the inside boards after I get the corners perfect. So I've already got this corner level this way, put a five foot section in. And now I'm gonna show you how I get, how I do this by myself. I take a section, a one inch slice of four by four post I hold it up here as a spacer, even with my top. And then I screw my little block, a little piece of two by four block in there. And uh, when I lift up this 12 foot four by four, it'll sit on that block there and that block there. And then I'll screw it in and make sure that I'm level here add my gusset and then screw it in over there. And then I'll probably do the four foot doorway piece and then move on to the next corner. Nothing to it. Hey, what's up everyone? Today is my last day of framing it out. Um, so now all of the roof structural four by fours are in. This is the play area. I still have to do, you know, the midsection four by fours. I have a couple of the midsection ones done and sorry about the sound. It is, there is a storm rolling in and the wind is howling. But, you know, you could see one row there, hallway, 
another row here. We're gonna limbo under, another row, another hallway, and another row. Um, Tyler is coming, uh, the owner of Shrek, is coming tomorrow to help me for a couple days and we're gonna try and push forward with the concrete and I'll make that a separate video. But uh, I was rushing to get everything done. I'm trying to hold back the wind. I'm sure the sound's gonna be horrible. But uh, the last thing I have to do before we do the concrete forms is straighten this side. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just a little bit wavy. So I'm gonna use ratchet traps and stakes and get this, this side perfect, just like this front side. And hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see down the road, but it is perfect down the front. So concrete tomorrow, so much fun. <laughs> All right, until next time, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.